Uh, the job so far has been like one of the the most interesting and fun experiences I've ever had. So pretty much we deal with uh, all of the special weapon systems that are here on this base. We pretty much control all the operations that go along in months and then also for supporting the flight line. It was always a goal to get to that 20 years. But it was February 2018. I did a PT test and pretty much like my chest felt like it was gonna explode while I was doing it. Three hours after I left the hospital, I got a phone call from my doctor saying uh, I had lupus. And that's the reason why my chest was being that way. One of my tests came back as pretty much like I got way worse. And then I found out that I had to go through chemotherapy for a couple months. I was taking it personal myself. I've helped him with a lot of stuff and it was the one thing I couldn't help him with. Honestly, the number one thing every member going through a medical evaluation board needs to know, it's stressful. There is no easy way to put it um, because you don't know the fate of your career. You don't know what's going to happen. You're not sure how much money are you going to get. Is it going to be what you want it to be? Are you going to be able to provide for your family? Um, it, it can be very stressful. The Air Force wants to ensure that you can deploy. They want to ensure that if you were to deploy your PCS that your medical needs are being met. I knew that I was going to get out and I understood everything that was happening. So it's kind of like uh, I want to try to cherish every moment that I have with the people that I work with. And so I want to work as hard as I can and just have some fun while I can still do it because this is the only place in the world that you can work on special weapons. The Air Force, like everyone is family. And that's important in life that you can't take your relationships for granted. You can't take what you learn and experience for granted. In the Air Force, you have the unique ability to pretty much touch people's lives in a positive way if you want to every day. I'm just grateful for all the support. I owe them a lot. I owe everybody in that squadron a lot. And a thank you. It's pretty much all I can give, but I hope that's good enough for him.